Darts will completely change how a dress shirt looks on you, and they're surprisingly easy to make. I don't like long intros though, let's do this. Step one, I'll show you where to position your darts on the back of your shirt. Grab a fabric measuring tape and measure from one armpit to the other. My shirt is about 23 inches or 58 centimeters, so yours is gonna vary a little bit, depending on the size. I think you should subscribe. You want each dart to start about seven inches or 17 centimeters from that side seam. That's roughly where your scapula should be. Use a sewing pin to mark your spot, boop. Then use your measuring tape to make sure your dart is straight and put another sewing pin at the bottom just above that hem. Same thing on the other side. Step two, grab those two pins and pinch and pull them. Do you see that line that they make? That right there, that's gonna be our dart. Run an iron on there so it's nice and sharp. Step two, let's get our measurements. In addition to the top and bottom pins, I'm going to put three more pins in here at four inches, 10 inches, and 14 inches. Centimeters are on the screen. These are my measurements, and in order for you to get yours, put the pins in the back of your shirt at various locations and try it on. Does it feel comfortable on your lower back without pulling the buttons in the front? Good. Now write those measurements down so that you can skip this step in the future. Your dart is gonna start wider at the bottom and then gradually become more narrow until you make it to that top pin where you're dancing on that edge with your thread, just dancing on the edge. Use these settings on your sewing machine, start with the back stitch to lock it in and go ahead and sew, bro. Gradually angle your way out from pin to pin while also taking the pins out as you go along. Don't sew over them. That very top pin is that spot where our dart is gonna end. So we wanna fade it out nice and smooth. So slowly and just dance on that edge all the way up to that last pin. My tone was oddly seductive. End with a back stitch, but only like once or twice. Otherwise you can get a dimple, so be careful. Cut those strings off at the top, but don't cut the fabric. You can leave that on there. Patterns on shirts won't line up, but that's totally okay because this shirt's gonna look fantastico. I think that's Italian for fantastic, I don't know. Now let's go learn how to blind hem a pair of dress pants. It's in that video right there. I'll see you over there. SD out, deuces.